Hey, how's it going everyone? I hope that you are all having an amazing day. In this video, I am going to go over and give reasoning for an amazing Slayer training method that I feel is a little bit overlooked. It works great for both low levels and high levels, and with some recent changes that Jagex made, this method is actually even more fun because you run the chance of getting a drop with some major coinage. What is this method I speak of? Why, Wilderness Slayer, of course. <coughs> what, did you expect some groundbreaking method to have been released? Well, sorry, that is not the case. But stick around because there are some interesting things about Wilderness Slayer that make it OP. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because every like and every sub does so much for the channel. So let's get right into it. First off, as you can see in some of the clips that I have running in the background, Wilderness Slayer is actually amazing XP, and for a few good reasons. Reason one being the insane amount of tasks that have monsters with high hit points. If you literally have never played before, Slayer XP in Old School RuneScape is based off the amount of hit points that a monster has. So, quite clearly, the higher the hit points, the better. Not to mention that some of the tasks are lower level creatures that have a higher level wilderness demi-boss, which not only can be some insane money, but also is a great way to earn some experience, because the demi-bosses have insane hit points. Another thing that makes Wilderness Slayer an amazing way to train is the condensed area in which you're allowed to even train the skill. Sure, you may have to worry about the occasional PKer, but you will not have to worry about traversing the entire map just to go and start a task. Along with the condensed training area, I'd say that 70% of the tasks you are assigned are cannonable which is also a huge boost to the amount of XP you can get per hour. And on the topic of occasional PKers, through my experience, PKers are few and far between. At least for when it comes to PKers actively looking for lonely Slayer trainers. 95% of the people PKing are doing it at hotspots, such as Revenants or Lava Dragons, and honestly, the only time I'm ever truly concerned about PKers is when I'm fighting a demi boss or when I'm cannoning inside of the Revenant Caves. But that being said, the wilderness in old school RuneScape is an unforgiving place and should never be taken lightly. Never, ever, ever take anything out into the wild that you are not willing to lose. Aside from the great experience and tasks per hour you can gain, there is also some major money to be made. Some of the tasks you can get net some major profit from dragons to revenants, but the real fun in the money from Wilderness Slayer comes from the new Laren's Keys and the update that Jagex did with them. Dagon High robes being only a 1 in 250 or so chance, and the robe top having a nice 10 million GP price tag, Laren's keys are exactly what I love about playing RuneScape. Back before RuneScape went through the evolution of combat, I had thousands upon thousands of steel dragon kills from 60 all the way up to level 92 plus range, hunting for the Draconic Visage, which at the time was 24 million GP. And what I'm trying to say is that the hunt for a big drop is one of the funnest things in this game. And being able to train such a valuable skill as Slayer while you do that is always going to be the way that I decide to train Slayer. If you made it this far, I want to thank you so much. Be sure to like the video because every single like goes a long way and I hope this at least gave you a little bit of a different perspective on how good Wilderness Slayer is and can be. Stay tuned to my channel for updates on my world's slowest hardcore Iron Man and hopefully Jagex will announce something more Dead Man related soon because of the Twisted League thing they did just did not really tickle my fancy. Anyways, I hope that you all have an amazing rest of your day.